what's going on now could be my pick of the year I always say that I know that this could be huge it's cold out and I'm popping into Pennsylvania this time for the Coleman and I'm not talking about Gary Coleman what you talking about Wells Coleman I'm talking about Coleman vintage new old stock lanterns stay tuned and see if it's a hit or a miss here's the Coleman this is nuts oh uh, that's the brown one yeah there's another one over here yeah it was that one is gone he took off he took them lower ones but you still got a still got a lot that i'm interested in This is, uh, I've gotten a few. What What's in that one? Can I see what's in there? The what's one that? in your case? The one you have in the steel case. Is yeah, that, that must there. be an older one. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, they were harder. And that's a wrap on the Coleman Lantern. finds which i did very well got a whole bunch of red 220s or 200s some old stuff pretty cool stuff that's never been used so we'll tally it up later just coming home off this smashing pick those five these ones here go to glass house greg he gets an old he gets a new old stock new old stock and new old stock and the brown one's pretty sharp too. A lot of money. This is this is this is why I am constantly on the hunt. These are my red ones. I'm keeping that one. I got some really nice ones, and so did he. Uh, I am now that I'm home. I'm even more excited than I thought I would be. If you see the bottom lick, you'll you'll the lip bottom lip you'll see it's quivering see of excitement of excitement because smashing deal smashing that's what i say gonna wipe them down and take them inside so here's what we got from the 50s to the 70s uh, all coleman six red ones and two uh Two uh, silver bottoms, green tops. So, not bad. These are in pretty good shape. I think all of them have been used. I thought maybe maybe one, if it was fired, might have been this one or this one. But that's missing its lid, and it's got a little uh, dinged up top. But I can fix that. I'll switch it with another one to make it more desirable. So there they are. Today's booty. Drove uh, two hours to pick up these. Got uh, seven for Glass House, Greg, and uh, I bought, what do I got there? Eight for myself. So it's well worth it. I'll get my money back and then some, and I'll be able to keep two of these. And that's the way I look at a win-win situation for... The Eclectic Collector. So today's big pick was the Coleman Lantern. And you've seen that I grab them at yard sales. Well, these were a little bit more high end. So they cost me a little bit more money than a yard sale. But I think I did well. We'll see. And I'll keep you uh, in touch after the first one sells. Until then. Later.